Hey guys, this is a video on my Logitech Quick Cam Communicate Deluxe, or this is also my Logitech Quick Cam Communicate S7500. Now, this is a nice webcam, but it is a little bit overpriced at 80 bucks. But you know what? You get what you pay for. Um, this one is actually replacing this guy right here, which is a Logitech Quick Cam Chat that I got for 30 bucks four years ago at Best Buy. Now, the resolution on this is 640 by 480. And the resolution on this is 1280 by 960. But ironically enough, they don't allow you to select that resolution from the drop down menu, which is kind of odd. <sighs> yeah, so you can't really take advantage of that completely. Um, it does have really cool features like the uh, right light technology. Now, this is good, but it does have a downside. When you use it, the frame rate does drop, so you will notice a significant drop in you know, frame rate. I don't know why I just repeated that. Anyway, but it does have really cool features like um, what Logitech calls the uh, fun filters. And it's also got a wide angle lens, which is really cool. It's also got like a, what they call a privacy shade, which is uh, actually this guy right here on the top. You flip it down. And he comes up with like a little thing and showing you that, you know, oh, you can use these instead of just a blank, you know, a black uh, screen. And then uh, you can flip it up. I'm sure it will go away, or it doesn't. I can make it go away, but yeah, it does go away. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, now let's, let me just show you the uh, fun filters I got here. And there's the uh, video. Like nice little wide-angle lens and some fun filters. Here's one. All distorted looking like that. Look at that. I got a big nose. Yeah. Anyway, here's another one. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. I don't know if you really want to do videos like that, but uh, yeah. Um, now, the thing I was mentioning about the uh, red light technology, I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay. Right now, I have it set to off. Actually, it's on right now. So I'm going to set it to off. And you will notice that it's all nice and smooth. Look at that. It's nice and smooth. Now, if I turn it on, adjust the lighting a little bit, and now, as you can see, it's really a little bit a little choppy. And it would be annoying if you're trying to do a video. Uh, so, yeah, just keep that in mind if you do plan on purchasing one of these webcams. But you might just be better off, uh, you know, getting a different one if you want. It's up to you. <laughs> or just dealing with it and just using it without the feature. Now, you can... You can select optimize frame rate for video calls. The only thing is, it's the same thing as turning it off. Because it doesn't really, it, as you can see down there, if I turn it off, it goes to that. Okay, now if I turn it back on and select that little box there, it goes right to where it is when it turned it off. When you turn it off, so yeah. Um, but all in all, it is a decent webcam, so uh, I. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.